publication of Prince Harry's much talked about and in some quarters much feared autobiography was still meant to be a few days away. Well, tonight the wait for what it contains is over. So too, it seems, is any imminent reconciliation with the royal family because of its blistering claims, in particular about his brother Prince William. In leaks of the book, which went on sale in Spain today by mistake, Harry details a series of truly shocking claims of how his brother, and next in line to the throne, William, knocked him to the ground in a row about Harry's wife, Meghan, of how William and Kate encouraged him to wear a Nazi uniform to a party. If that wasn't enough, there are revelations about drug taking, about how Prince Harry admits to killing dozens of Taliban in Afghanistan as an army helicopter pilot about his father broke the news of his mother, Princess Diana's death, and so, so much more. But it is the claims about his own brother, Prince William, that are the most explosive and likely to leave the most lasting damage. Two men who are not just brothers, but who are, given what they've both been through, brothers in arms, are now clearly brothers at war. For years, many hoped there might be a path to reconciliation for these two. But today, Harry confirms when it comes to his brother and his family, the gloves are off. I don't know how staying silent is ever going to make things better. Silence is clearly not the option Harry has chosen. And today, more clips were released by ITV ahead of Harry's interview on Sunday. And we discover relations between father and son are now so bad, Harry will not commit to coming to the king's coronation, his own father's coronation, in May. If you're invited to the coronation, will you come? There's a lot that can happen between now and then. But, you know, the door is always open. The, the ball is in their court. There's a lot to be discussed, and I really hope that they are willing to sit down and talk about it. But will anyone in his family want to sit down and talk about it, given the extent of private information Harry shared, including what he called a physical attack on him by his brother William? First revealed in a copy of the book obtained by The Guardian overnight, Harry writes, he set down the water, called me another name, then came at me. It all happened so fast, so very fast. He grabbed me by the collar, ripping my necklace, and he knocked me to the floor. I landed on the dog's bowl, which cracked under my back, the pieces cutting into me. The scene of this alleged fight was the kitchen of their cottage in Kensington Palace, where Harry and Meghan used to live. A photo of the kitchen, complete with dog bowl, appeared in their Netflix series last year when they spoke about how small their home was. But Nottingham Cottage was so small. I don't know who was there before, they must have been very short. Another private detail exposed in the book was the moment King Charles spoke to his sons about their rift. It happened at the wake after the brothers returned from Prince Philip's funeral in 2021. Please, boys, don't make my final years a misery, Charles said, according to Harry in his book. The book Spare was meant to be under wraps until its release on Tuesday, but in Spain today... En la Sombra, the Spanish version of Harry's book, translated as In the Shadow, went on sale five days early. It was put on and then, very quickly, taken off the shelves. But it didn't take long for English translations to appear, including Harry's claim about the Queen Consort Camilla. Harry writes that he and William urged their father not to marry Camilla. That will make for some awkward family meetings ahead. Some people will say, you have railed against invasions of your privacy all your life. But they, the accusation will be, here are you invading the privacy of your most nearest and dearest without permission. That'll be the accusation. That'll be the accusation from the people that don't understand or don't want to believe that my family have been briefing the press. Wouldn't your brother say to you, Harry, how could you do this to me? After everything, after everything we went through, wouldn't that be what he would say? He'd probably say all sorts of different things. But one thing we know Harry says about his brother, because he said so in this interview, is that William is his arch nemesis. Well, you refer to your brother as your um, beloved brother and arch nemesis. There has always been this competition between us, weirdly. I think it really plays into, always played by the air spare. 
Quite what the king made of it all as he went about his business at Sandringham today, we don't know. There was, predictably, no response from Buckingham Palace about the book or any of Harry's claims. Do you still believe in the monarchy? Yes. Do you believe you will play a part in its future? I don't know. It's hard to see how Harry and his family reconcile after this. Uh, Chris, there are a huge amount of excerpts from this book coming thick and fast off after its release today, and a lot of the headlines will be about the damaging mm. uh, implications within the royal family. But there are also a lot of details about him and his personal life, aren't there? Yeah, I mean, a huge number of details. And I think, Raggy, because of the, the interviews that Harry's done and because a copy of the book found its way to The Guardian overnight and then we had it going on sale in Spain by mistake today, I kind of think this evening we've probably got everything that's in that book, unless there's a particular mm. passage in Spanish that no Nobody, uh, could translate. And apart from everything I've just told you about in my report there, we've got Harry's admission that he took cocaine. They've got details of how he lost his virginity. I'll spare you that detail. Um, but also, you know, comments about how this rivalry with his brother goes back to the very sort of early days when William always got given a bigger bed and a bigger bedroom than, mm. than he had as well. There's the claim that William and Kate told him to wear that Nazi uniform, mm. if you remember that story from a few years ago, and how his father told him um, his mother had died. And then there have been lots of questions today about the wisdom by Harry of saying that I killed 25 people when I was flying Apache helicopters in Af Afghanistan. I mean, I'm not a former military person, but I think those who I know have been in the military question why he would do that, why you would keep a tally. But as I say, that's, that's a pretty long list. I think we might tonight have, have the entirety of this book. And then comes the question of what Buckingham Palace does. Yeah in reaction nothing. or, 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 or whether it will. Yeah. Um, they've said no, well, they said nothing about Netflix and they've said nothing about uh, everything that's been in this book. Um, you, you know, I wonder whether at one point they might find that, that small phrase like the Queen used after um, the Oprah Winfrey interview, recollections may vary. But as we are tonight, nothing from Kensington Palace, nothing from Buckingham Palace. And I think they may choose just to take the higher ground and say to Harry, OK, I know you've said to Tom Bradby, you might not come to the coronation, but actually here's your invitation and you're a welcome member of family, so come if you want. And yet this is not just a story within the United Kingdom. This is a global story, isn't it? And this is only just beginning today over the next four, five, six days, <laughs> yeah, it, as you well know. <laughs> there's more to come. And actually, you know, this was kind of leading bulletins in America and in Australia and elsewhere today. Look, you've got ITV's interview on Sunday night mm -hmm. with Tom. Yep. Uh, following that, you've got 60 Minutes on CBS. Following that, you've got uh, GMA, Good Morning America, where Harry's done an interview for them. And then we learn tonight he's done The Late Show on CBS. There's lots more interviews to come before the book's official release on Tuesday, but as I say, I think we probably know now almost everything that's in it. And yet it will continue into the middle of next week. Let's see. Thank you very much, Chris.